Ladies and gentlemen, we have more in store for you. Yeah, I've been waiting for this one. Jackson, Michigan, introducing you your next fighter, Brendan Sequoia Sanford. Brandon Sanford's mom's right next to us over here. She, well, she was. She's running around. She's probably going to come right back here and videotape the... Okay. She's one of the most dedicated mothers in MMA. Oh, yeah, that's Angela? Yeah. Big supporter of ACS Live.TV. Yes. And also my show, UMOR Live, Monday nights. I, I, I get a lot of listeners from the Jackson demographic, and I do appreciate it. You know, a lot of that's due to, to the partnership and the friendship we have with Jason Mug and ACS Live.TV. And I you really remind me. It. I always forget, man. Huh? I always forget. What they get on your show and listen. Oh, yeah. Well, they're all archived for everybody's listening pleasure. That way you can sing aloud interviews if you'd like. And there's a YouTube page where we, we, uh, we break them down. I actually got to sit down and interview Hoist Gracie on Thursday. Oh, man. I'm still reeling from that. I don't feel the same. Did you want to wrestle with him? I did. I wanted to put my hands on him. <laughs> I did. I you really did. Snap your fucking arm. You know what I mean? I was like, you know what? I, I, I can actually do this. Break your leg. It's the now. first time I've been to a seminar or a place where they were training where I felt like I could participate. Uh, Christopher Nix. This is a huge fight for him. This fight right here, I fight the night with him. Like I said, I'll say it again. Say it one more time. The thing with this matchup is. Brandon's very patient. Unfortunately, this is only a three-round fight. Yes. Brandon is very patient, and Chris Nix can take any amount of punishment that Sanford gives him. And with Nix being a counterpuncher, you're going to see a lot of Sanford being so fast for a featherweight. He's going to get in and get out a lot. He's going to change levels on you. He's going to put you down and then stand right back up. He's a hell of a fighter. USA Jocko Shirts. Formal introductions. First, introduce your five standing model fighting in the red corner. Weighing in at 145 pounds, 86 foot tall. Putting a very impressive 10 and 4 record on the line tonight. He's trained by Quincy Rice. I thought there was 11 and 4. After, after his last, last win. Maybe they found out one of them. He knows. Uh, last win, he beat Andre Salomon at 135. Oh, yeah, that was uh, at we were uh, commentating for different groups there. Yep. That was a hell of a fight. No, it wasn't. It was Brandon beating the brakes off Andre. That's what I mean. I didn't expect it. It was, that was awesome. Yeah. going to see now. Neither one of these guys is going to tire out either. So nope. The cage door is latched. The juggernaut has our competitors ready for your coming event. Jackson, you ready? ACS Live. Very patient jab of uh, Brandon Sanford. He knows how to use it. He hit Andre Salomon with about 40, 45 of them nasty in that last fight. Oh, yeah, he did. He landed more jabs than Nick Diaz. Oh, no, he does. And he's not fighting GSP. <laughs> he's very patient. I didn't think, you know, both of these guys would get in the scraps, but I didn't think this was going to be that. I don't, I don't know, maybe well, I don't think it's going to be that action-packed. I mean, very, very patient and technical. I mean, when you get up in skill level, it's a lot like the pros. I mean, when, you, when you look at some of those professional title fights, they're downright boring because the guys are, are so respectful and so good. And nobody will take, take a risk hard, you know. Helping two football teams are punting three and out when the defense is good. Nix is 
trying, he's, it's almost like a quick parry block where he's swatting punches. And all, all Sanford needs to do when he does that is, is double up his punch. Double up your punch, find, find, find the angle. And I'd like to see a second punch from B after some of those jabs. I think he'd have some, some off there. He does drop that left hand, especially when he goes for those leg things. With Sanford dominating position here for the most Ooh. part. Nick's got hold him right away. Wow. Good position. He grabbed his head and arm immediately. Oh my God. Very dominant position. Sanford's using his knees to kick him up higher. He is mounted. And he is going to take some. Ooh, nice, nice job he's avoiding doing. the punch. See what he does. you got to know how to get out of this. Walk in the cage. Carrying arm, Sanford. Nick's imposing his will a little bit here. Sanford now in. Trouble as a he looked like he's trying to work a head and arm for a minute. He's always dangerous. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Nix does appear to be a bit stronger today. Nix is naturally a 45er. Brandon Sanford's cut the 30 before the fight by Sangoni. Uh -huh. Trying that top end guillotine. Right there, too late for that one. Time but once Nick's got him down, he kept him there. Yep. And that won the round. That was a quick, quick snatch him up by his head. Yeah. Yeah. Holy crap, I didn't even know what he did. I was just watching it happen so fast. It's got to be his brother cornering him because they look a lot alike. You know yeah. what I mean? Yep. He come in smiling. Yeah, he did. He was happy. <laughs> I'd have to give that round to Nick. Yeah, definitely. Quincy's, what's Quincy saying? All right, listen, he's dropping his left hand and he's not gonna kick your fucking leg. When you throw a jab, follow that fucker up with the right hand. You end up in full mount again. Yeah, and then, if you end up in full mount again, <laughs> I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm gonna make you suck Freezy's dick. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hit the gym. I'll take you. <laughs> I love that dude. Quincy Rice is one of the most entertaining human beings on the planet. Absolutely. All right, round number two. Let's see what they got for each other. Where's that patience? Yep. CJ looks with a little more swagger in the second round. Let's see if Sanford makes him pay. He does reach out too far. If Sanford doubles up, throws some combos, he's going to land punches. CJ's got a Leota Machida head position in, in his in his fighting stance. He does. Him. And he keeps those elbows in like his head's, head. his head's a, uh, is behind his hips primarily. Right. He's hard to he's hard to strike. Yeah. Sanford doesn't want to end up in the same position and let him get underneath one of the punches. No, I don't think Sanford wants to get caught up on the ground game again either. If Sanford would double up and throw a three punch combo like a double, a jab, sweep the jab, change levels. And change your angle and throw uh -huh. straight right down the pipe. Nick would get confused and all that. Nice, nice front inside leg, leg kick. Yeah, that'll screw your leg up, man. That'll change that stance up just slightly too. Nice Ooh. job catching the kick and throwing a right hand right behind it. Another inside leg kick. Where's that stomach punch again? Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's not, it's not, not easy, man. Quincy's coaching that one hard. Because we saw... Uh, it sets up so many different things. That was Chad Rouse that was throwing. Yep, he threw the, the most of it. We also saw Lewis throwing a few times as well. With ease, I mean. 
They just mix them right in with their combos. Patterson up front leg. That's going to come into play next round. Nice, that landed flush. Spinning back kick to the midsection. Blocks that left hand and fires. This is a monster. Man. That would have made most people double up and quit. Oh yeah. He's worried now though. Quite a bit different here towards the end of the second. One more round. You're right. I want more. You're right. I want more than that. Prince is not even getting in the cage. See, this no. Brandon's a Brandon's a, a. He does this before the last round. See, he's a pro fighter. This is head game. Yeah, Brandon's like, a yeah, pro fighter. I'm waiting for you. He's just warming up. He needs he needs three rounds to start warming up. He needs five minute rounds. He needs to go pro. This being wins wins via technical decision. Wow. Technical decision. Jones doesn't finish Simon. I'm not going to lose faith in him. Nick's, Nick's closed the distance quickly again. Now he's got a hold of Sanford. Putting in the clinch now. Ooh, looking to get off a knee. Sanford wouldn't let him. Jab up, set something up to hurt him. Well, somebody's got to do something this time because I got it even up to this point. Ooh. There he is, he's in his face. Well, he closes the distance fast. Looking for a double leg here, and now he switches over to the. Looks like he was going to try to switch over to a single there, but stopped at an underhook. Nick's with an uppercut attempt here, trying for a body lock, and now they're both reset. Nick's with his back to the cage, Sanford Sam for controlling position now. How did that jam Oh, oh I wow, know. a head kick! Now he's going on. Through with that. See, look at he resets again. He's wow. so patient. He's so patient. He knows what he wants to do. He's well coached. That was a nice leg kick. You can see the the remnants of that foot yep. on the left side. CJ Nix's face. But you don't want the smack, you want the thud. Two jabs. <laughs> Give me a double jab. Damn it, I want to see what happens. <laughs> pissing me off. Nick fights his way in again to the clinch, gets an underhook on this side, gets an underhook on the other side. Looking to take him down here. Like nice lead in the midsection. Now he's got a clinch on all of on a good knee on him. Sam smart to get out of the way. Quick reaction time. Nixon throw the towel in. Oh, that was a wow. fast spinning back fist. Whew. That would have been a highlight. 
And time. That's the end of this fight. Sanford might have won that fight. I think so. That kick in the face. These guys need more time. Round four. Lee. I'm going to bring Lee over here see if he can go over there and talk to him about this. Yeah, really. One more round. It's going to be interesting to see what the judges saw, but I'm with you, and I think that uh, they're going to probably get it to Sanford based on that kick. But what a fight. It was a good fight. Yeah. Good time here at Prison City Fight League tonight. It's a cool show. Man, I've had a great time sitting next to you talking to all these fans at home on ACSLive.tv. Absolutely. Thousands of them. It's been a great time. And uh, it looks like Phil does have the judge's decision. That was and quick. We're going to send it up to Phil to make it official. Sean Dunn and Mo Machete Williams are in there saying, You got it, you got it, you got the win. Ladies and gentlemen. After three hard-fought rounds, these two warriors left it for the judges. We have a unanimous decision for your winner, fighting at the red corner. That's a proper decision. I, I'd have to agree. Well fought contest. I'd like to see two more rounds out of these guys. Yeah, for sure. Honestly, I mean, I, it looks like they could both uh, do it with no problem. Yeah, they should have. I don't know why they didn't. Nine minutes was not long enough. It's definitely a fighter's child in the cage. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sheared off. Yes, sir. I'll tell you what, my friend. Get up here with me. Let's talk about this fight. I've had the honor of sharing the cage with you multiple times over the years. And I've seen you progress. In every fight, you don't get better just a little bit. You get exponentially better every fight. Your stand-up stand has gotten phenomenal. And you put that on display and said, check this out. And you came through and you got a very, very impressive win. I get to give this guy huge heart in Chris Burnett. Kids got no quit in him. Chris got no, kids got no quit in him at all. But you got the win, the judges decided, and you now are a phenomenal fighter moving on to the next level. We're all very proud of you. If you, ladies and gentlemen, are we not? Very proud of this fighter right here. Somebody shut up, I'm going to give you the mic and let you say what you got to say. Jackson, are you entertained? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Good guy. Yeah, well welcome. Well, we got a main event right now. Uh, it is that time of the night. <laughs> wait till you see it. Have you heard? Have you seen Krushan fight? No, I, I have oh, not. Wait till you see this. Shit. I have not. Um, it, it, maybe a king of the cage. Have you ever fight king of the cage? He's got 24 fights. Yeah. Man, so. I love that. I love that he is a perfect matchup for Dequan Townsend. Him and Daquan Townsend would stand in the middle of the cage and smash each other in the face. That would be sweet. Yeah. Who do you think he'd win? Uh, I have no idea. He's that good. Wow. He does not belong in amateur MMA.